Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about if this old Dana 18 transfer case is still leaking or not. Around a year ago, I made a video and it was called like, fixing a leaky transfer case on a Willys Jeep or something like that. And it wasn't like a how-to video. It was more like a vlog video where I was just thinking out loud, taking y'all through the steps I was taking to figure out why this freshly rebuilt transfer case was still leaking. Ultimately what I discovered, the front yoke had a bunch of corrosion, a bunch of pits in it, I guess from just sitting over the years. So I went to my parts transfer cases, started pulling those yokes off, come to find out all those were pitted too. I also discovered that later model transfer cases, the yoke has an o-ring groove cut in it to keep oil from seeping around your threads and get past that washer and nut. My final decision to fix this, I picked the one with the least amount of pitting, put it back in here, and actually it's not leaked since, but I think as soon as I start driving, I'm gonna see some oil start coming back out of there. But a bunch of y'all came through for me, a bunch of y'all commented down below and gave me a permanent fix, the way to fix this the right way, make it good as new. So I gotta get this yoke back off, I'm gonna show y'all what that fix is. All right, so the first step in getting this yoke off, we gotta disconnect the front drive shaft, There'll be two nuts on this side, two nuts on the other side. It takes a half inch wrench. Obviously you can do this from under the Jeep. It's just a lot more convenient for me right now to do it while the tub's off. Go ahead and disconnect this front drive shaft. Now you want to be careful not to drop the caps off your universal joint. You can tape them up and I'm going to zip tie this up out of the way and we'll get to this yoke. So now that I got the drive shaft out of the way, there's gonna be a big nut inside this yoke holding it on. That's gonna be an inch and an eighth socket. And you might've noticed when I was taking them U-joint straps off, put it in four wheel drive, I put it in gear. That's gonna keep this yoke from spinning so you can take them nuts loose. Now on here, this is gonna be torqued down so much, you're actually probably gonna move the whole Jeep. You might get scotched the wheels. They do make a tool for this, I do have one. And that will just bolt to your yoke right here and then you know you'll wedge it up against something, then you can get that nut off. I'll be honest with y'all though, the easiest way to get these off is just take an impact, hit it a couple times, and it'll usually come right off. Do be careful though, these will strip out pretty easy. Make sure all the gunk's cleaned out, make sure you got good contact with that socket. So I'm gonna go grab my impact and we'll get this thing off real quick. Now I know somebody's gonna say something about me using a chrome socket and an impact. I don't have my impact sockets over here and it's not like I was just going to town on something. It's gonna be fine. So now that we got that nut off, this yoke should just pull out. Now there is gonna be some oil come out if you don't drain your transfer case and you're probably gonna to have to do it else all your oil is just gonna run out. I've got a little trick though, so I'm gonna pull this out. And then I'm gonna put one of my spares back in. Now it's still probably gonna leak a little bit, but it should keep it from leaking while I fix this one. All right, so I got the yoke and the vise now. You can see this is the felt seal on the outside that catches any little oil that sneaks past and it is just soaked in oil. So if it wasn't already leaking, it was about to. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that felt seal off. Get that out of the way. I don't know if you can see that on camera, how well it's showing up, but you can see all those little pits and how it's just kind of wore over time and sat there. All them little divots is where that oil's getting around at. I'm gonna show y'all how to clean that surface up and we'll have a brand new seal surface. So this is what your ready sleeve's gonna look like. This is the actual sleeve. You can see it's a super thin piece of metal. 
that's just going to be your brand new seal surface all this is is the drive tool that's what this lip on here is for so you can put it on there and you can tap it on and then this seal you might can see that perforated line that's just going to tear away once you get it drove down on there and then this will be sitting in the right spot now if the pitting is bad enough you can really hang your fingernail on it or if there's deep grooves or something you can put like some jb weld or something on there and then polish it down real smooth because you don't want this hanging up when you're pressing it on there it does have a bevel right here so it might not be an issue you also don't want oil getting between this and this and still making it out of your transfer case now i saw a guy suggest that you put a little cut in this before you drive it on there that way it's easier to tear it off now we're going to get it as square as we can and gently start tapping it down onto the yoke All the way down seated against that shelf right there so now right here where i did that little cut i'm going to start trying to peel it away and it should just unwrap and come right off of there Now that we've got this thing sleeved, it's ready to go back on. I'm going to grab that new felt washer to put in there. Now you can see my deal didn't work very good. Oil still coming out of this. I mean, not as bad as if there was nothing there, but I'm going to suggest if you do this, probably just go ahead and drain the oil out of this thing. That way you're not wasting oil or making a mess. Got that new piece of felt on, so we're going to pull this old yoke out and put this new one on. Then the nut and the washer, those go back on. I'm gonna go ahead and use my yoke tool because I have one. So I've got a couple of little quarter inch bolts. And we'll put the tool on. Right, now we've got that on, I'll put it back in gear, keep that from rotating, and we're going to torque this down to 120 foot-pounds. Finally, we'll bolt our drive shaft back onto the yoke. cross my fingers and hope that this thing don't pop up another leak somewhere else at least i got one less spot to worry about now there is a double lip seal option you can change the seal inside the transfer case too i chose not to do that because it's a brand new seal i just rebuilt the transfer case but i'll have the link to that seal and everything else used in this video linked down in the description i do want to say i'm not sure this is the most cost effective route to fix this issue so if you hop on kaiser willie's website They've got these yokes brand new for like 50 bucks. Now these ready sleeves, at least the ones I looked at, they usually run 30 to $35. I got lucky, I found this one on the Amazon warehouse for 15, but it seems like you can just go ahead and spend the 15 bucks, get a brand new one and not have to fool with the sleeve and everything. Unless you're doing a restoration, you wanna keep it all original. This is a great option to fix up your old yoke.
Thank you all again for commenting on that first video for telling me how to fix this the right way. Also appreciate all y'all checked out this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next time.